Hello and welcome back to a new section in this course. In the last section, we were working with the router and we abstracted a router and defined some routes that we will be using in our API, mainly the register, the login, as well as the logout routes. And now it's time to change track a bit. We want to move on and start working on creating a class or a model, if you will, of a user. And this is going to be something that we will use to represent a user in our system, uh, stuff like name, email, password, and that kind of thing. So let's jump straight into it. The first thing I want to do is head on over into my terminal. Then we can do a quick NPM start uh, just to make sure that our server is up and running. And you can see that um, we get that output in our terminal it's listening on 3000 so that's looking good all right so what we're going to do is just make sure that you in the server folder we're going to create a new uh, server folder in the root of that project we're going to call it um, models and this is going to be a folder where we can store any models that we create in our system and our first one going to be this user model that we're going to create so in the the models folder we're going to create a new file and we're going to call this user.js and once we have this new file open we can get cracking here. Alright, so I'm just uh, going to start off by writing a quick comment here. Uh, this is, we're going to be installing some dependencies later down the line. Uh, I'll just make a comment to leave some space there. But to get started, we will say let underscore equals class. And the class name is going to be user and we're just going to open uh, the body up of that class. And um, as you may have noticed, this is the pattern that I'm using where I'm just um, declaring an unnamed variable that we can export. And so just before I forget, let's just um, make sure that we export this module. And so we'll do a module.export and then we'll export this class that we have declared here. All right, so we've got the skeleton of our class set up here. And now we need to start thinking about what we want to put in here. And I think the first thing we need to do is create a constructor. And this constructor is going to allow us to inject some some values onto the or into the class when we um, instantiate it. So we'll get the setup by saying constructor and then we'll open up our parentheses and then open up the, the body of this constructor. And I'm just going to fly through this really quickly. Uh, there's a few things that we want to get set up on this user class. Uh, the first one being a value for when the the user was created. So we're going to say this dot created equals new date, and that's going to give us a new timestamp in milliseconds, and it's going to assign it to the created key on this user. Next up, we will have an ID, and now uh, this is where we want to put a string of some sort. And in order to do this, we should use something standard here. Uh, there's a great package called um, UUID, and this will give us a, a 36 character string that we can use for IDs. So let's go ahead and install that quite quickly. I'm going to kill my server, and we'll just do an npm install. And the package name is UUID, and I'm just going to do a dash dash save there, and I'm going to hit enter. And this is going to go through and um, install the, the URID uh, package. If we head on over to our package.json, uh, you'll see that we've got a new package in here and that's looking good. And if I do a quick search for the, the UUID NPM package, uh, we can take a look through the documentation here. Uh, you can see this was the install command that we used to install it. Um, you can see there's the 74 million downloads weekly. It's quite a popular package, so that's all good and well. This is what I wanted to uh, just show you uh, to get quick. Uh, the, the documentation recommends a quick start here. We've done the installation. We see here that there's um, just a few instructions on how to uh, require this or install it into your system. You'll see this is the, the ES6 module syntax, which we're not using in our library. Uh, we're actually using the, the common JS way of importing or requiring modules. Uh, so you'll see um, what they're doing here is they're just using a little bit of a destructuring here. What's coming back from the UUID libraries version 4 and then we just conveniently name it whatever we want. And then we can reference it and invoke it in our project. So now that we've got that installed, uh, we can now uh, require it in our project like we saw in the, the documentation. We're going to say b4 equals UUID and then we'll say 
uh, v4 but really we can name this whatever we want but let's stick with the, what the documentation was telling us and we're going to say require uh, the uuid package okay so now that we've got that installed all we need to do is invoke that uuid4 v4 package and that's going to return a, a 36 character string that we can use all right so the next field that i want to put onto my class here is i'm going to want to set up a first name and a last name so i'm going to uh, create a, a field here and now our, our user class called name and it's going to be an object with a first and then this will be null for now it's just going to be empty until we invoke it and then uh, we'll have last and it's the same thing we'll just set the initial value to null okay great next up we want to have an email address uh, we'll set this to null to start with then we'll do a this.security this is going to be an object where we will set a password hash which will be null for now and then the last thing i want to do is this.band equals false okay cool so now that we've got that um, constructor set up We've got a way of creating a user class uh, and when we instantiate it will be a, a new fresh object of um, a user and we'll have all these fields. We've got a, a, a thing for created ID and these are typically th things that we will see as the, the, the model in the, in the database, whether using a SQL or no SQL type database. So that's looking all good for now. We've got a simple constructor set up. And what I want to do now before we end off this lesson is just show you real quick what this is looking like. And so if we head over to our router and we going to import our user file here now and you'll see I'm using a capital U for user. I like doing that when I'm working with uh, classes just to, to kind of denote that it is a class. Then we'll go to the models and we will reference that user file. And I'm just doing this really quickly to demonstrate um, what this is going to look like once it's instantiated. And so I'm going to write before the response.status over here. What we'll do here is we'll say let user equals uh, new and then we'll instantiate this class just by using open and closing parentheses. And then I'm going to do a console log user over here. The last thing I want to do is tack that that user key onto the, the JSON response. And uh, you can see I'm just using a shorthand syntax here. If you have the key and um, the value that are exactly the same um, in JavaScript ES6, uh, you can just kind of um, shorten this and just reference the same thing. And then what it'll do, it'll just use the name of the variable that you've just referenced as the key and then it'll assign the value to whatever is contained within that variable. Okay, so that's all good. All right, and now we're gonna open up Postman just to test this out and see what we're getting. I'm gonna make sure that my server is up and running. I'm gonna do an NPM start, it's looking all good. I'm gonna head on over to this route that we've used before, the, the register route, and I'm just gonna hit a send. And then you will see in our terminal, uh, we've logged out the user. You'll see that it's of type user, that's the class. If we just compare what we were writing in our constructor, you'll see this dot created. And then we've got that created field with, with the timestamp. And I did say that this is a millisecond timestamp and I did make a, um, a mistake here. So I'm just gonna correct that right now. What I wanna do here is actually say date dot now and this should give us a millisecond value and so if i just hit that register endpoint again and we compare it to what we had in our constructor you'll see that we get a, a millisecond timestamp in the created we've got an id and so we can see this string being represented here and so we know that our uuid version 4 package is working correctly we've got a name with first last also um, initialized to null and you kind of get, I think you're getting the idea of what it's looking like. If we take a look in Postman, you'll see that uh, this is represented as the, the, a JSON object. And so that's kind of what I'm going for at this stage. We're going to do some more work on this user class to add some models onto it so that we can do things like save it to the DB, validate some of the, the values and initialize some of the values when we call this in our, our route. So let's take a quick break here and then we'll pick this up in the next lesson.